Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Zach Webster. Well, we're starting off our 4th of July morning with a few more clouds in place across a pretty good portion of the western slope. There's even a little bit of light rain coming down in a couple of small pockets around the region. Most of it's falling along and south of Highway 50 from Montrose to Gunnison, especially out over the San Juan Mountains to the west of Telluride, right around uh, Highway 550. Durango seeing a little bit of that light rain early this morning. A couple more pockets out across the high country. We're seeing more of that heavier rain and even a few thunderstorms, mostly to the north of Highway 40 in the far northern portions of the western slope. Winds fairly calm for now, but as you can see, as we head throughout the afternoon and into the evening, we'll see those wind gusts on the increase around the western slope. Many of us seeing those gusts between 25 and 35 miles per hour, but there could be some gusts closer to 40 miles per hour at times as well. And that's pretty much the case all around the western slope as we head into the afternoon. Again, many of us seeing those gusts between 25 and 35 miles per hour. Then things start to settle down once again as we head into the evening and overnight hours. And as you've seen over the last couple of weeks with the dry conditions already in place, you start to get some of those winds back on the increase and we'll see that fire danger back on the increase across the western slope. I think particularly across the central portions of the region right around Interstate 70 and Highway 50. Things once again start to calm down as those winds start to come down throughout the evening and into the overnight hours. With all of that that you've just seen in mind, red flag warnings in place for all of these areas shaded in pink. That's just about everybody across the western slope. That starts at noon today and continues until 9 o'clock this evening. It's all the same kind of stuff. We have conditions in place that will make fires very easy to ignite and with those gusting winds it will not take much for those fires to spread around while this red flag warning is in effect there's no burning allowed no open burning allowed particularly in mesa county and fireworks definitely not the best idea throughout the day today not really the greatest thing to hear since fireworks are pretty big staple of fourth of july celebrations but uh, it will be pretty easy uh, to start and spread wildfires throughout this afternoon with those red flag warnings in place weather wise we'll continue to see some clouds uh, kind of move through the region throughout the day today we'll see mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout much of the afternoon some showers and storms may pop up generally north of interstate 70 well, we could get a couple out across the high country and closer toward the continental divide as well, then things should start to clear out as we head into the evening, the overnight hours tonight and into early Wednesday morning. Looks like we'll start off the day on Wednesday with plenty of sunshine in place. Again, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies throughout the day today. A warm one. We'll see those high temperatures warming into the upper 90s in Grand Junction. Skies start to clear out 63 overnight tonight. Mostly sunny, a few degrees cooler, 96 on Wednesday. Then we're warming right back up with sunny to mostly sunny skies throughout the rest of the weekend into the weekend. Those high temperatures in the middle to upper 90s. Partly cloudy skies, windy 94 today in Montrose, 58 overnight tonight. Mostly sunny, 92 on Wednesday. We'll continue to see sunny to mostly sunny skies throughout the rest of the weekend into the weekend. High temperatures staying in the lower to middle 90s.